The UK is in a very strange place, I must admit. Manchester teen faces offender status for touching 17-year-old on the arm and waist. Quote, touching someone's arm to get their attention, I would have thought was normal. Well, apparently it's not anymore. Boy, oh boy, United Kingdom, what is wrong with you? It just feels like everything is coming to a nice end, doesn't it? It's chaos. There used to be order and now it's falling into chaos. How can we live in a system? Actually, you know what? It's more like order is becoming, like it, it, it's, it's too much order. It's so much order that it's becoming chaotic. This is a rule, part of a system, quantification of what you can or can't do. And it's resulting in people being like, what can we do if you can't do anything? If everything is against the law, then technically nothing is, right? I don't know. This dude's facing a crime because he tried meeting a girl who then cried later because she felt unsafe. Man, y'all got problems, but don't, 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 don't get me wrong. I know we got the same problems here in the U.S. for the most part. Let's read from Reason. Last fall in Manchester, England, an awkward 19-year-old male student touched a 17-year-old female classmate's arm on the street during the daytime. He later said he had wanted to make a friend. This rattled the young woman so much that she went to the police. <sighs> yeah. Now the young man is facing possible jail time and could be placed on the offense registry. The complainant's evidence was very clear, uh, was, was very clear, logic and illogical and without embellishment. A magistrate told the young man, we can think of no motivation for you to touch the victim other than, you know, they're saying it was uh, an adult offense. Had she not taken evasive action, the assault was likely to have been even more serious. Oh, oh really? At his hearing, student Jamie Griffiths was convicted of two charges of I'll just say it. I'm going to get deranked on YouTube, but you know what? Sexual assault. In part because the accuser, now 18, said that she had no doubt that had she not moved away from him the first time he touched her arm, he would have gone on to touch her breast. She, she's just speculating and they're convicting him on that? What happened to English common law, fellas? Hey, man, we, we come from the same place as you. Y'all lost it. As she told the court, I was just set on getting home and reviewing for my mock exams. But as I was coming over the bridge, I saw him facing a hedge, and I thought it was really weird. He wasn't doing anything. He was just facing the hedge, staring at it. As I walked towards him, I was watching him, and he suddenly swung around, so he was facing me. I remember it happening so fast. As soon as he moved, I moved, and I said, stop. And he touched me on my arm. I sort of jolted out of the way and went into the road to avoid him, and he very quickly walked away. I forgot about it for a while because I had my exams. I just thought it was weird behavior. It does sound like weird behavior. Does it sound like a crime punishable by possible jail time and a placement on the offense registry? <laughs> no. <laughs> the accuser reported the incident to the police. In a second incident, the young woman was walking to school when Griffiths walked in front of her and touched her side. It was quite a while. Three to five seconds, she said. He smirked at me. He didn't stop. He just touched me and walked off and I broke down crying in the street. It was quite traumatic. Are you serious? Listen, man, we have major problems. If you break down and cry in the middle of the street because someone touched you for a few seconds, what, what, this is nuts. The accuser had since read about some other incidents on a local Facebook page and thought that perhaps the encounter was related to them. So she and her mom filed a crime report. Afterwards, she said, every time I started working, I would cry because I would think of it. I felt very unsafe even in my own home. What? Dude, if this is, this is, you need therapy, okay? This is not a matter for getting someone arrested. You need therapy. You need someone to walk you through this and stop being so, t like, paranoid. What is happening? This is, this is, the stories like this keep happening. This is, this is somebody who is dangerously unwell. We hear these stories of people crying about Trump winning, thinking he's going to go and round people up and all this other insanity. It's like, dude, these people have lost their minds. So, you know what, man? The analogy I often use is calluses from playing guitar. When you're young, you need to, do, to exercise that strength, that, that independence, okay? Self-reliance, no matter if you're a man or a woman. You can talk about how men are stronger on average and so men have less to fear, all that argument stuff. We, uh, yeah, fine, 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 okay? Women carry pepper spray and they defend themselves. You've got to be responsible. The world is way, the way the world is. But I'll tell you this, I don't care who you are, which side of the aisle you're on. If we, we cannot 
allow people who break down crying from thinking about someone touching them for a few seconds. We cannot allow them to, to push these laws and these precedents and get people arrested over it. Grow up. You want to go out in the middle, go for, go for a hike. What do you think these people are going to say when they go for a jog and a mountain lion pops up? Are they going to go, oh no, and they're going to cry because a mountain lion is there? Too bad. How about you actually learn how to control your emotions and survive a true traumatic experience? Look, I get it. Most people confronted with a mountain lion aren't going to survive. The point is, this is not that. This is a dude who walked by you and smiled. Oh, he touched you for a few seconds. Oh man, I've had women put moves on me that have been overtly like non-consensual. But dude, look, like I've been at parties and girls will like grab me and you know, it, it, it happens. I, I absolutely positive it happens more to women. The point I'm making is fine. You can argue that because I'm a guy, I don't care. But I think there's a, there's a point at which you're like, I'm not going to report every little incident, nor am I going to cry about it. She was applying to college, Oxford University, and was hampered by the stress. Well, then you, sh you need to go home and sit in a padded room where you can be safe, all right? Both incidents happened when the accuser and the accused were at school together, studying for their A-levels, which are more or less the English equivalent of the SATs. As for Griffiths, he had been dealing with something on the side, unbearably lonely. He told the magistrate he Googled how to make a friend. It was, a good to, it was good to start off with a joke he read. He decided to give it a try. I went to touch her arm to start a conversation, and she just walked off. My intention was to make a friend. All my friends had left. I was lonely. I just wanted to speak to someone. Except he explained the words just didn't come out. What she read as a smirk, he says, he intended to, as a friendly smile. As for the physical contact, touching someone's arm to get their attention, I would have thought was normal. It is. Excuse me. And you touch them to get their attention. Nope, not anymore. Man, I, you know, normal or not, touching someone in public on their arm or on their waist does not seem to rise the level of sexual assault. Just because something is abnormal or upsetting doesn't mean it's a crime. The magistrates in Manchester disagree. Griffiths now faces a possible maximum sentence of 10 years in jail. Well, bo bra bravo, UK. You locked up a Scottish dude for making a YouTube joke, then fined him 800 uh, pounds. And now you got a dude, <laughs> I, I, I'd be willing to bet, well, I'll, I'll leave it there. Listen, now you got a dude who, you know, you probably read, he probably read that when meeting somebody, touching them creates a connection. However, what you probably didn't read is that in today's day and age, these like young people are, are terrified, frightened hamster people who just cower in fear looking around in a pool of their own urine. Like, dude, I'll tell you what, man, I've had actual crazy looking, I've been mugged and my response wasn't to break down and cry. I'll tell you what, ma'am, or, or I'm sorry, young, young, uh, naive, ignorant child who cries at this stuff. You're crying over this because someone touched your arm. Let me ask you something. When you have someone grab you and, 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 tell, and brandish a blade and tell you that they're going to hurt you unless you hand over your money, wh what do you think this world is, okay? You know, there are people who are actually mugged and hurt. There are people who are actually punched and smacked. There are people who are abused by their own families. And here you had a guy who walked past you and, and, and touched your arm. Young people in this country, I, I, I'm loath to see the world in 10 or 20 years. But I'll tell you one thing. Let's wrap this up. Thinking about all of the people who refuse to have kids because of climate change. Thinking about all of the people who break down in tears and cry because they can't handle being touched. What do you think is going to happen in 20 years? Now, part of me believes it could be a world of everyone wearing, you know, padded suits made of styrofoam because they're scared of everything and they need to protect themselves from naughty words. They're wearing earmuffs too. Or it's possible that the weakness can't survive. If these people aren't going to have kids, their ideas will, for the most part, leave with them. And if they're going to freak out and panic over someone touching their arm, I'll tell you this, man. If you can't handle having an arm touch, I'll, you're going to lose on an every career opportunity to a person who can. What do you think happens when someone goes for a handshake and they go, <gasps> when they recoil and start crying, oh, it's because someone touched me once and you went to prison. They're going to be like, you can leave. It can only go so far. So part of me believes this will all backfire and collapse, but I don't know. What I can tell you is, boy, the UK, I'm glad we have a constitution, huh? We've got that first amendment. We got that second amendment. We got that third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. You know, you, know, you get the point. We got a lot of them. And many of them have to deal with protecting us from an overbearing government. That's just it. 
You know, the fourth and the fifth, absolutely beautiful. And the first, we can go tell them to screw off if we want. This is a country founded by rebels, but we're becoming soft. Now, the UK, you got it worse, okay? Because admittedly, think about what happened, right? People in England who came to America, those were the brave pioneers, probably like the more working class types. And they said, I don't care where I live. I just don't want to live by you. But that was brave. Many died on the way here. Then you have the people who stayed behind. So think about it. All of those people willing to risk their lives left. The weaker of them, and I mean this respectfully, didn't make it. They make the journey. So that left only the strongest to, to, to create the United States, one of the most powerful nations in the history of the world, if not the most. And what's left in the UK? Well, everyone we left behind. So I, uh, to, <laughs> I'll direct this direct to, to you, Sargon. You, you may be one of the few people with a spine left in the UK. I know, I know there are many. And it was once the biggest empire. I believe it was. It might have been France now, but it was a huge empire. And well, when all those people leave for other, other lives and, and other countries, what's left? A small island where a 17-year-old girl cries because someone touched her arm. Welcome to the future. Man, isn't that sad? Think about like the might of the British Empire. And now what's left? 17-year-old gets a dude arrested because he touched her arm and she cried about it. Man, I'd, I'd be, I'd, I'd love to see, you know, like a, 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 a Londoner, some like high profile London, you know, political personality from the 1700s looking now at where they are and just like see their reaction. I'll see you guys tomorrow on this channel at 10 a.m. Podcast at 630. Thanks for hanging out.